Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. In this video lecture, I will discuss the topic assessment of learning cognitive domain, Anderson and Crathole, affective domain, Crathole and psychomotor domain, R. H. Dave. Let us try to understand the assessment of learning. The assessment of learning is a fundamental and indispensable facet of the educational process. It serves as a compass, guiding educators in understanding the depth and breadth of student knowledge, skills, and attitudes. This multifaceted evaluation is typically organized into three distinct domains, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. Each domain provides a unique lens through which educators can comprehensively assess and evaluate diverse aspects of student learning. First, let us understand the cognitive domain by Anderson and Crothole. The cognitive domain, as articulated by Anderson and Crothole, builds on the original work by Benjamin Bloom and seeks to understand and assess intellectual abilities and thinking skills. The revised taxonomy by Anderson and Crothole consists of six levels, each representing a progressively higher order of cognitive processing. Here's a detailed explanation of each level along with examples. 1. Remembering The lowest level of cognitive processing involves recalling facts, information, or concepts. Example assessment activities, multiple choice questions asking for specific details. Fill in the blank exercises testing recall of information. True false questions based on factual knowledge. 2. Understanding, grasping the meaning of information, understanding concepts, and interpreting ideas. Example assessment activities, short answer questions requiring explanation of concepts. Essays that demonstrate a comprehension of the material. Diagrams or concept maps illustrating relationships between ideas. 3. Applying, using acquired knowledge and applying it in new situations or contexts. Example assessment activities, problem-solving tasks that require the application of concepts. Case studies where students analyze and apply their understanding. Simulations or role-playing exercises based on real-world scenarios. 4. Analyzing, breaking down information into parts, understanding relationships, and identifying patterns. Example assessment activities, essays or reports that analyze and compare different perspectives. Data analysis tasks where students interpret and draw conclusions. Critiques of articles or research studies, identifying strengths and weaknesses. 5. Evaluating, making judgments based on criteria, standards, or evidence. Example assessment activities, debates where students defend and evaluate different viewpoints. Essays requiring critical analysis and evaluation of arguments. Peer reviews where students assess the quality of each other's work. 6. Creating, synthesizing information to produce something new demonstrating originality and creativity. Example assessment activities, research projects where students propose and explore new ideas. Artistic projects or performances based on a deep understanding of concepts. Designing solutions to real-world problems, demonstrating innovation. Instructors and educators can use these examples to design assessments that align with specific learning objectives and encourage students to engage in higher-order thinking. The goal is to move beyond simple recall and encourage students to apply, analyze, evaluate, and create based on their understanding of the material. Secondly, let me discuss the bi-affective domain by Crathwell. The affective domain as developed by David Crathole and his colleagues, explores the emotional and motivational dimensions of learning. It recognizes that education is not solely about acquiring knowledge and skills but also about shaping attitudes, values, and emotional responses. The affective domain is organized into five hierarchical levels, each representing a progressive stage of emotional and attitudinal development. Let's explore each level in detail along with examples of assessment activities. 1. Receiving, 
This level involves being aware of, willing to listen to, or attend to certain stimuli. It's the foundational stage of emotional engagement. Example assessment activities, observation, students are observed for their level of attentiveness during a lecture or presentation. Self-report, students may self-report their interest or engagement in a particular topic. 2. Responding, at this level, learners demonstrate a willingness to respond to stimuli. This response could be verbal or behavioral. Example assessment activities, participation, students actively contribute to class discussions or group activities. Role-playing, engaging students in role-playing scenarios that require a response to specific stimuli. 3. Valuing, valuing involves attaching worth or value to a particular object, phenomenon, or behavior. It's about the development of preferences and priorities. Example assessment activities, surveys, students express their preferences and values through surveys or questionnaires. Interviews, individual or group interviews exploring students' beliefs and priorities. 4. Organizing. This level entails integrating a set of values into a coherent system, creating an internalized structure for one's beliefs. Example assessment activities, reflective essays, students write essays that explore the organization and structure of their values. Case studies, analyzing and organizing values in response to real-life scenarios. 5. Characterizing, the highest level of the effective domain, characterizing involves the internalization of values to the extent that they guide behavior consistently. Example assessment activities, behavioral observations, observing and assessing students' behavior in various situations to identify the manifestation of internalized values. Long-term projects, students engage in projects that require consistent adherence to their values over an extended period. The affective domain is crucial for the holistic development of learners. It recognizes that education is not only about what students know or can do but also about the attitudes and values they hold. Lastly, let us understand the psychomotor domain by R.H. Dave. The psychomotor domain, developed by R.H. Dave, focuses on physical and motor skills. This domain recognizes the importance of hands-on learning, practical application of knowledge, and the development of physical capabilities. The psychomotor domain is organized into five hierarchical levels, each representing a progressive stage of motor skill development. Let's explore each level in detail along with examples of assessment activities. 1. Imitation. The lowest level involves the ability to observe and replicate basic motor skills demonstrated by others. Example assessment activities. Observation. Students are observed as they imitate a specific physical activity or movement. Video recording. Students record themselves replicating a demonstrated skill for evaluation. 2. Manipulation. At this level, learners demonstrate the ability to perform basic motor skills with some degree of skill and precision. Example assessment activities. Practical exams. Students are assessed on their ability to execute specific tasks or techniques. Skill-based assessments, evaluation of fine or gross motor skills through designated exercises. 3. Precision. Precision involves the ability to perform tasks with a high degree of accuracy and control. Example assessment activities, fine motor skill assessments, evaluation of tasks that require precise hand-eye coordination. Task completion assessments, assessing the accuracy and efficiency of completing specific activities. 4. Articulation. Learners at this level demonstrate the coordination of multiple skills to create a seamless and integrated performance. Example assessment activities, complex task assessments, evaluation of the integration of various motor skills in performing a complex task. Integrated skill assessments, Assessment of how well different skills are coordinated and applied simultaneously. 5. Naturalization. The highest level involves the automatic and integrated performance of motor skills, 
where they become second nature to the individual. Example assessment activities, real-world applications, evaluation of a student's ability to apply learned skills in real-world contexts. Performance in authentic contexts, assessment of how well students can seamlessly integrate motor skills into authentic situations. The psychomotor domain is essential for education programs that require physical skills or hands-on activities. Assessments in this domain provide insights into a learner's ability to apply theoretical knowledge in practical scenarios, fostering the development of competence and proficiency. Thank you everyone. If you're passionate about education and teacher training, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.